tunaendelea na sehemu hii ya pili ambapo kwenye video hii tutajifunza namna kubadilisha entity relationship diagram kwenda katika physical schema physical schema ni SQL statement tunaandika kodi kwa ajili ya kutengeneza database kwa hiyo hii ilikuwa ni conceptual schema conceptual schema maana unaonyesha concept yako kwa kutumia ER model au ER diagram so kwenye ER diagram unachora entity unachora attributes alafu una add cardinality utaweka relationship zako pale alafu sasa baadaye unakuja ku convert ER diagram kwenda katika physical schema so physical schema maana ni implementation ya database yenyewe so unaandika query kwenye query maana utatengeneza columns kwa hiyo hizi attributes ambazo zinaonekana hapa zinakuja kuwa ni column names attributes zinakuwa ni column name alafu entity name jina la entity kwenye ERD ukienda katika physical schema inakuwa ni table name au object name lakini hii relationship ambayo tumeitengeneza hapa inakuwa ni constraint so constraint katika database zipo za namna mbili kuna primary key constraint kuna foreign key constraint so kwenye ER diagram constraint utaspecify kwa kutumia diamond shape ambayo ni hii diamond shape umbo la diamond kwa unajitumia hilo kwa ajili ya ku connect zile entity kuonyesha relationship kama linavyoonekana hapa umbo la diamond lakini ukienda katika physical schema huweki diamond umbo la diamond kule ni SQL statement kwa kule maana yake utaweka constraint za aina mbili primary key na foreign key zinaitwa constraint na hizi ni database constraint na ni default constraint primary key maana ni unique column ambayo haitakuwa na null value wala duplicate value foreign key ni primary key imetoka katika entity fulani kuonyesha relationship baina hizo entity mbili kwa hiyo maana ni kwamba hii entity inayoitwa student tukienda kuandika kodi inabadilika inakuwa ni table name hii attribute inaitwa cause tukienda kuandika kodi inakuwa ni column name lakini hii foreign key ambayo ni cause kwenye ERD tumeweka vidoti doti tumeipigia mistari ya vidoti doti lakini kwenye implementation hauweki vidoti doti unaandika SQL statement kuonyesha hii ni foreign key references ina kwenye table ya cause na una add pale referential target on delete au on update cascade nafikiri concept hiyo imeeleweka sasa uh, kwenye ile tutorial hiyo toka of course tulielezeana kwa undani tuliongea kuhusu uh, cardinality kuna one to one one to many na kuna many to many hizi naitwa ni cardinality au aina ya relationship tulizungumzia one to one ni nini one to many maana yake nini na many to many maana yake nini okay so sasa hivi tunaenda kufanya implementation ya hii database Uh, ya hii ERD of course tuli export image hii ni image ambayo tuli export tuka export as a pdf hii ni pdf ambayo tuli export of course na nadhani ni na hii ya pdf tuli export so now tuna convert ER diagram kwenda kwenye physical schema au convert conceptual schema to physical schema ndio maana yake conceptual schema ni kama ER diagram kwa schema zipo tatu conceptual schema physical schema na logical schema So unapoje katika desktop start button utaandika program ya zamp utaifungua program ya zamp. So program ya zamp ukishoka imefunguka uta start ya pache hapo of course mimi nimesha start of course wewe uta click start na mimi uta scroll click start. Ukishoka umestart hizo service mbili of course ya pache natumia port namba 80 uh, ambao ni http na 443 ni https kwa ajili ya ku access php my admin Of course my sister anatumia port number 3306. Hii hizi ni port number. Ukikuta kuna wepo wekundu humu basi ujue kuna port conflict kwenye computer yako. So now I close the program. So unakuja katika desktop start button na fungua command prompt. Naandika tu cmd kama of course kama hujaona. Nakuja hapa just kukuonyesha hivi. Naandika cmd yani ni command prompt. Au sometimes unaweza andika power. Alafu unajua kuichagua hii window power shell yote ni the same. Kwa hiyo mimi naandika tu CMD. Nikitumia window power shell au CMD, napata the same shell. Okay now. So command prompt imeshafunguka so just ni expand kama hivi. Okay now. Step ya kwanza ni ku ni ku change kwenda katika root level. Kwenda kwenye root level maana naandika change directory, yani cd, utaacha space naandika forward slash. Forward slash ni hivi. Uta click enter. Utakuwa umeingia kwenye root level. Utaandika tena change directory to directory ni netwa zamu hapo uta click enter of course cd nimekosea spelling of course ni zamu uta click enter utaandika change directory kwenda kwenye my sql 
nda click enter change directory kwenda kwenye bin nda click enter utandika my sql space minus user space utandika user as a default root kwenye database ya my sql default user ni root utaacha space minus password utaacha space minus host utaacha space utandika local host by then nda click enter password utaacha uta click enter so tumesha ingia katika database tunaona mali ya db so now ukisema show databases show databases ukiterminate utakuja ukuta tuna database ambazo ni default uh, de, of course uh, mysql user wanakuwa ndani ya database ya mysql na privilege zao zinakuwa humo ndani ya database kuna database inaitwa test na kadhalika so now tunatengeneza database database kwa ajili ya ku convert hii ar diagram kwenda kwenye physical schema So nitafungua notepad plus plus kwa ajili ya kuandikia kodi za SQL of course ni hii hapa just yes, ni okay So namna hii So just naandika bla 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 alafu na save na kuja kwenye file uh, just save na save kwenye uh, of course kwenye documents na save my work alafu na chagua file extension dot SQL hii ni notepad plus plus na tafuta dot sql uh, dot sql kama siyo ni hapa naandika to my work naandika dot sql kisha ni save so nimesha save kazi yangu hii hapa so cha kwanza ni kutengeneza uh, database so database na tengeneze hapa hapa katika hii shell naandika create database database naandika my college my underscore college kisha na terminate kusabu hii ni program kisha nasema use use database ambayo inaitwa ni my college ambayo nimetengeneza kwa muda si mrefu. Kwa ndaandika my underscore college. Kajina. Na na, na just terminate namna hii. Kwa nikija katika uh, zamp hii hapo, kwenye zamp hii nikija kubonyeza kwenye MySQL hapa nikifungua hii zamp control panel, nikiklick admin. Nikiklick admin itafungua PHP uh, itafungua PHP admin. Na hii PHP admin itafunguka endapo tu me start Apache. Okay, when tapo tumesta ya patch. Okay now, so ina load PHP my admin. So PHP my admin hii ni uh, management kama management studio fulani kwa ajili yako. So uh, my college ni of course tayari ishatokea isha kwenye kwenye graph user interface. So kinachofuata ni kutengeneza table. So nitatengeneza table ya kwanza ambayo itakuwa ni nini? Itakuwa ni ku convert sasa hii uh, just hii ar diagram kwenda kwenye nini kwenye physical schema. Kwa entity name inakuwa ni table name. Kwa student ni entity kwenye ERD huko anakuwa ni jina la table. So just ngoja kuandika hapa create create hii ni keyword inachofuatiwa naandika table. Then table yenyewe inaitwa nini? So student. Na hapa lazima ufuate naming convention. Kuna naming convention ya kwanza just nikiandika comment inaitwa of course ni Pascal Pascal naming convention nikijaribu kukumbusha Pascal naming convention inatumika pale unapo name class. Kwa hiyo inatumika pale unapo unapo name class, class zote. Class. Katika programming kuna class. Kwa unapo name class unatumia naming convention inaitwa Pascal. Kwa Pascal nini hii ni naming convention? Naming class uh, yes ni chesenti. So naming convention ndio kwa kifupi. Hii kwa maana kwamba jina lolote la class linaanza na capital letter. Kwa kama na na class inaitwa student s imeanza na capital letter class yangu inakuwa hivi namna hii eh, kama na class ya pili inaitwa cause c inaanza na capital letter cause nafungua bracket kwa sababu hii ni class eh, class ya kwanza ni student kama unavyoona class ya pili ni cause kama na class nyingine inaitwa for example accommodation a inaanza na capital letter accommodation kama nimeandika sawa spelling kisha nafungua bracket namna hii Ukitumia style hii hii itakuwa ni standard programming. Umetumia programming ambayo ni standard standard. Inakubalika kimataifa. Yote kiona umeanza na S kwenye program yako unajua hiyo ni class. Kwa kama ni student hapa pingine student results. ER inaanza na capital letter. Results itakuwa namna hii. Labda semester 1 S inaanza na capital letter. Yaani kila lile neno linaloanza linaanza na capital letter. Na lililoanza limeanza na capital letter. Hapo imefahamika. Okay now. So ya pili naming convention ya pili inaitwa ni of course ni chemo. Chemo case. Utamalizia chemo case naming convention. Hii chemo case inatumika pale ambapo una name uh, variable. 
So hii natumika pale una pronoun nini? Kiandika hapa una pronoun variable. So variable maana ni kwamba natengeneza variable inaitwa int. Int ya maana yake int labda x au int number 1. Kwa n ya kwanza itaanza na small letter number 1. Kwa hiyo itaanza na capital letter 1 number 1. Labda string string uh, region ko r itaanza na small letter. Kama ni neno moja itakuwa ni lot ni small letter. Kama kuna neno la pili linaloanza hilo la pili ndio itaanza na nini? Na capital letter. Kwa region for example region cost. For example na nani? Eh labda na variable nyingine inaitwa labda uh, float eh, data type ya float labda float a uh, uh, student GPA. Kwa s itaanza na small letter student. Kama naishi hapo naishi hapo hapo. GPA G itaanza na capital letter. Hairuhusiwi kuandika GPA hivi for the programming standard GPA. Lakini sio variable peke yake pia na method. Pia na nini? Na method. Kwa method tunatumia kemo case. For example na method inaitwa add number. Kwa hiyo nitaandika method yangu labda public public int hiyo ni method labda add. Add itakuwa ni small letter, number n itakuwa na capital letter nyingine ndogo add number. Hii ni method yangu na hii ni method body nime implement. Kwa public int Add nini? Add number. Labda na method yangu nyingine labda inafanya kazi ya kuprint uh, jina la mwanafunzi. Kwa nitaandika public public string for example, public string uh, labda print name nitaandika print small letter n inafuata na capital letter name. Of course nadhani imefahamika inakuwa namna hii. So namna hii. Yeah. Unaona eh? Kwa unaona kabisa kabisa kemo case natumika ku name nini? Ku name method method yangu ya add number na print name zimekuwa na kemo case eh? lakini pia namba 3 namba 3 kuna nyingine inaitwa snake ah kaandika hapa snake snake case snake case convention hii inatumika ku name variable kama kawaida ni eh, variable lakini variable hizo zinakuwa ni nini constant zinakuwa ni constant variable ambazo hazichangi yani zipo pale pale value zake for example nikisema password eh password labda student password labda string string eh kwa sababu inaitwa ni snake unaenda kama kama snake labda student inaanza na small letter underscore password kwa hiyo inakuwa na underscore baina neno moja na neno jingine afu yote yanakuwa na yanakuwa na small letter labda student password namna hii labda na nyingine inaitwa student gpa nitaandika float nitaandika hapa student inakuwa na small letter underscore gpa Yeah, kama kuna neno jingine linaendelea unaandika tena underscore unaendelea nalo underscore hii inakuwa ni snake case kwa hiyo tutakuwa umefuata uh, programming rule ambayo kwamba ni standard so maana yake hapa uh, create table student tusema student hii nini hii ni kama object kwa tunaanza na capital letter so hapa tupo kwenye programming ya SQL kwa hiyo kama ni SQL hii tuna assume kwamba ni class just like a class student ni class ni just like a class Koma yake tunaanza na nini? Na capital letter. Create table student kisha unafungua brackets. Na namna hii. Ndani hizi brackets unatengeneza variable. Unatengeneza variable. Variable sometimes tunazita nini? Column name. Hizo column name unazitoa huko kwenye nini? Unazitoa kwenye hizi attributes. Na attribute ya course, registration number, department, eh? Kwa student yeye ana attribute nyingine inaitwa address. Address ni multi valued attribute ana phone 1, phone 2 na hii email address. Kwa hizi hapa attributes ndo zinakuwa ni column names katika table. Au tunazita ni uh, ni variable. Kwa hiyo zinakuwa ni variable. Tunaanza na registration number. Kwa reg number. Kwa sababu hii ni physical schema una specify na data type. Variable character, va maana ni variable, ka maana ni character. Then ndo za data size ni 100, registration number not now net now then this is the primary key primary key kwa nini primary key unaangalia tu mchoro wako unajua kukuta kabisa kwamba registration number hii ime imekuwa underlined na tulisema kinachokuwa underlined katika hii ala diagram hiyo ni primary key primary key una underline katika hii ala diagram ukija katika physical schema sasa hakuna ku underline unaandika tu primary key kwa hiyo tayari umesha specify constraint constraint tumesema zipo mbili kuna primary key kuna foreign key constraint tutazungumzia hapo baadaye kisha naweka koma kinachofuata naandika nyingine ya pili inaitwa nini inaitwa cause cause hii cause inakuwa ni ni uh, cause ni 
uh, ni variable character just ni copy tu hapa na uh, variable character of course na yenyewe ni not not null eh nyingine inafuata ni uh, nikija kuangalia hapa au hata kwenye hii uh, kazi yetu somewhere cause inaonekana vizuri yes nyingine inaofuata ni baada ya cause inafuata uh, department so nitakuja hapa nitaandika department di sorry department tumesema hizi ni variable nafuata snake chemo case hii tumeandika uh, tumetumia ile pasco name convention ya ku name class kwa sababu hii ni inabeba variable ndani unaanza na capital letter lakini za ndani humu hizi zote unatumia chemo case kwa department department kwa department hii data type ni variable character na hiyo hapo mmoja kinachofuata ni delivered multivalued attributes ambayo multivalued attribute yenyewe ni hii address phone 1 phone 2 na email so hii address tuna ignore unapoenda katika implementation ya database ile address una ignore sometimes ile zaka sio address inaweza kuwa ni kitu kingine lakini kile ambacho hizi zimeconnect kwenye hicho hicho kiweki yani hiyo address hiyo inaweka phone 1 phone 2 na email so ndakuja hapa nitaweka phone 1 phone 2 na email phone 1 phone 2 na email so ya phone phone 1 sasa hiyo phone 1 au inaanza capital letter inakuwa na namna hii kama tulisema hii ni variable na inafuata kanuni za naming convention au unaweza kuandika phone 1 namna hii na hii itakuwa just a phone phone 2 namna hii okay now so phone 1 just to make variable character 100 variable character 100 and then ni email email address variable character 100 so for one mtu anaweza kawa na namba simu kabisa kwa hiyo kusema not na ila mtu aweze kukosa department unaandika not what na lazima mtu atawa department hii for one hii for two hii ni email okay now so baada ya kumaliza kitu kama hiko basi tunaoje kuterminate so hapa naweka mkato hapa naweka mkato so hapa kwa sababu tumeshamaliza kutengeneza uh, columns unakuja hapo na una terminate kwa nadhani concept ime, imefahamika vizuri okay sasa kinachofuata kinachofuata sasa uh, kumbuka hii ni phone 1 na hii ni phone 2 kwenye implementation ya database tunasema lazima uwe database umeisha ifanyia normalization kwa hiyo phone 1 na phone 2 zinatoka kwa nini kwa sababu phone 1 na phone 2 zitapelekea data nini data applications katika table yetu kwa hiyo nakuja kuweka hapa hii inaitwa ni student kisha naandika hapa student rs student rs kwa hiyo nitaandika hapa create create what table table hii itakuwa inaitwa s student kwa sababu ni naming convention a capital letter rs inakuwa namna hii nitakuwa namna hii then hapa naoja na cozy hiyo bracket yangu ndani yake humu naweka phone 1 na phone 2 kisha nakuja kuchagua na email rs kama inawezekana uja kuiweka huku email rs kwa phone 1 na phone 2 kama inawezekana na email rs okay now so baada ya kufanya kitu kama hiki nakuja kusema sasa hizi phone 1 na phone 2 ni za nani kwa hii registration number na copy kama ilivyo wazi ni hii itakuja huku kuwa kama foreign key hiyo registration number hapo nadhani hii concept imeeleka so na copy uh, create table student na copy na kuja kuipaste katika shell ambayo ni hii so just nikipaste niki execute table yetu ni hii so unajua ku copy uh, create table student rs na kuja ku copy phone 1 phone 2 variable character so hii ina ina uh, primary key so primary key uh, unaweza kachagua primary key just uh, unaweza kaipa id id just uh, int uh, data size ni 11 na maximum hiyo then inakuwa ni primary primary uh, just primary key inakuwa namna hii then hapa nakuja na terminate hii tunatusoma tumefanya database normalization. So student address na just na copy kwa sababu huko haionekani katika hii ala diagram. Afanye uh, katika hii ala diagram hii huko zinaonekana ni multivalued attribute na multivalued attribute katika database haitakiwi. So kwenye hii ala diagram inakuwa namna hii ila kwenye physical schema una separate table kama tulivyofanya hapa. So unakuja hapa na just ku paste of course me execute. So nikisema na show tables show tables so na current na table mbili na table ya student na table ya address so table ya pili tuna convert now uh, department kuwa katika physical schema na kuandika query 
So the nigga create table department. So now create table department. Of course, the department. Create table department. So on the bracket, so just like a function. Namna hiyo. Kisha nakuja na yaka namna hiyo. So now, bila kuandika kitu kama hicho. Column. Ya kwanza ni department name. Of course, the department has me for the naming convention. Kusema, so zote, di ubwa. Then, department ID na department name. So, department ID. So, just ID na kwa namna hii. So, just I. Inaza na capitalizer ID. Department ID data type ni just na a variable character. Sorry. Just ni copy a variable character. Ajiu hapa. So, na jewi duplicate ya variable character. Then, hii itakwa ni primary. Primary, uh, just primary key. Namna hii. Uh, department ID. Again, in a further department name. So, just department Department just name. Akikisho na further naming convention. Inakua namna hiyo. Department name. Okay now. So, uh, tupa wani position ya kukopi. So, after then, na terminate hapa. Na uje kujichukua ikribu. Uje kujipaste katika shell. Hapa. So, just ni kipaste. Sorry, ni copy. So, inakuja hapa. Uh, just ni copy. So, inakuja katika shell. Na just kujipaste. Of course, ime execute. Na uje kujitengeneza ya mwisho. Ambayo inaitua cause kuna cause id cause name na cause duration so create schema create schema of course schema yetu ni table object name itaitwa jina la c capital letter cause namna hii cause of course inafungua bracket za namna hii then hizi bracket natengeneza variable variable ya kwanza itakuwa ni cause cause small letter n capital letter cause name cause name just cause name itakuwa ni just uh, just variable character namna hii so just copy variable character namna hii then uh, cause id so just cause id itakuwa ni variable character again itakuwa just a primary uh, primary key inaofuata itakuwa ni uh, cause id inaofuata ni cause duration so just send a cause just cause d capital letter cause duration data type we just itakuwa ni integer kumina moja maximum cause duration okay now so by then uja na terminate hapa na terminate so just copy hapo njojo yu dapi kipeste hapa hafu kuja kukinki enter kuja so nikusema show tables show tables now na table easy ni kina chofada ni kuadi cardinality cardinality katika ERRRM unatumia diamond unatumia na hizi arrow kuonyesha relationship relationship kati ya student na cause ipo kwenye kuteki yani student takes of course is taken ndio relationship ile kwa kwa lazima useme ukija katika table ya department na student mwanafunzi has yani manake yupo ndani ya department na department inasajili wanafunzi alafu of course relationship inakuwa namna hiyo lazima uonyeshe relationship yao ni, ni, ni nini hasa unakiweka ndani ya ile, ile diamond na unaweka katika pande mbili pande ya kwanza na pande ya pili. Pande ya kwanza anafanya nini? Pande ya pili kirudi inafanya nini? So pande ya kwanza maana student ana take. Pande ya pili maana yake cause imekuwa imechukuliwa na wanafunzi. Ndio relationship. Hiyo ndio itaonyesha kabisa hizi kama ni one point au umetumia. So relationship hiyo huko tofauti. Huko na specify constraint. Kwa nataka niweke relationship katika table ya student. Mwanafunzi anapokuwa anasajiliwa lazima ionyeshe huyo mwanafunzi ana namba zipi za simu huyu mwanafunzi yupo kwenye department gani na huyu mwanafunzi yupo kwenye program gani kwenye course gani so manake mwanafunzi ndio atakuwa na participate sana ata participate kwenye address ata participate na kwenye uh, na kwenye department ata participate na kwenye uh, na kwenye course sana hapo tutoe makini tunaanza kati ya student na na department pamoja na course kwamba mwanafunzi yupo ndani ya department Kama unapona relationship yetu hapa, mwanafunzi has department na department registers student. Tunaanza na hapa. Alafu pia, tunajia kuangalia tena uh, mwanafunzi uh, amechukua cause, text cause na cause zinachukuliwa na wanafunzi au inachukuliwa na mwanafunzi. Tuanze hapa wanzi. So now, nakuja hapa katika uh, editangu. Naandika command na ito alter na specify for any key table. As in table name is um, student. 
alter table student then add constraint 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 na yadi katika table na ito student underscore na itadi ya constraint yenye ni fk foreign key then nandika foreign natural space key bracket na itadi ya wenye yu table ya student foreign key nataka yu nini cause na copy yu cause na ipestia cause inalifuwa kwenye table gen nandika references inalifuwa katika table gen ya cause ya mbao ni hii na inafanya reference ya primary key inaitua cause id kwa references ni cause kwenye cause inalifuwa wapi inalifuwa kwenye cause id tumisema foreign key ni primary key kwa inachukua primary key ya kwenye cause mbao ni cause id inakuwa na mna hiyo so na another step ni kufosi referential target kufosi differential integrity hapa kwenye hii ala diagram wakuna uwezu kwa ukaika chwe kitu hata siku moja na wala hakikubaliki kwenye hii ala diagram unawonyesha only relation bus kwenye physical implementation unawonyesha na constraint constraint ya kwanza tumesema ni primary key ya pili ni foreign key ye zina kuwa na integrity gani manake unafosi differential integrity ukidiliti data katika mother table ikadiliti pia na kwenye child table. Mother table ni ile table ambayo ina participate uh, partial kwa mwanzake. Mother table. Child table ni ile table ambayo ina participate fully kwa mwanzake. Of course nishavizungumzia hivi. Kwa maana yake hapa student itakuwa ni child. Kwa nini ni child kwa sababu ina foreign key. Kwa hiyo ukifuta kitu kwenye mother table suppose nimedelete cause. Cause fulani of course table hii hapa. Nikifuta cause na wanafunzi ambao wamekuwa registered kwenye kozi hiyo zile kozi zinafutika so zinapokuwa zinafutika zinaondoka katika ligi gani ile column una set kuwa null au na una set uh, kuwa kwenye default so nitaandika hapa uh, on keyword on delete uh, set null And then on update cascade on delete set null na itakubali hii command kama hii column ya cause i cause of course kwenye table ya student hii hapa hii mama cause ikiwa not null hii command itafanya kazi na database data error uweze kusema on delete set null ita set vipi null kama tu umesema not null kwa hiyo hizo gani otherwise ile null hapa ungeitoa eh null unaiondoa kabisa of course utaweza sababu table hii tulisha itengeneza tayari kwa hii command haifanyi kazi tena na ukisema on delete set default nikiandika hapa on delete set default default ni null yani default column inakuwa ni null by default kwa uweze ku set column by default kwa null wakati hapo umesema hii column not null kwa na yeye itafanya kazi okay so nadhani hiyo concept umepata otherwise useme on delete cascade sasa uwezo kujiandikia tu on delete cascade bila kuelewa utapata implication gani. Uwezo kusema nafuta kozi na wanafunzi ambao kwenye kozi hiyo zile kozi zifutike. Vipi kama unataka ziendelee kubaki ili uweze kuwajibu walikuwa kwenye kozi zipi? Inategemeana na business business situation. Kwa hiyo so vitu vya kukariri. Okay now. So after uh, implementing differential integrity, kuonyesha relationship na kuonyesha data togetherness kwa sababu integrity inaonyesha data togetherness nikifuta huko ifute na huko nikifanya hivi kuna kui reflect na reference integrity unaiapply kwenye 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 una implement kwenye kwenye child table lakini action ina take place kwenye mother table yani ukifuta kwenye mother table ita reflect kwenye child table lakini ile reference integrity yenyewe unaenda ku implement kwenye child ndio maana hapa unaona tume alter table gani student ambao ni child lakini kitachofanyika kwenye mother ndio kitalifreti huko. Kwa hiyo maana ni nini? Reference integrity una implement kwenye child table. Ila action ina take place kwenye mother table. Mother table ni table ambayo ina primary key. So now let's copy it. Lakini uh, just kumbuka ku terminate hapa. Okay. Na kumbuka ku close, kumbuka uh, at hata okay, kumi alt hapa. So now una copy constraint hiyo na just ku copy. Na unje ku ku paste hapa. I just ni paste here. Oh sorry just ni copy paste so na click enter okay now so uh, oh sorry nimesahau ku kutengeneza relationship 
So forenki ni hiyo lakini kuna nyingine forenki ni department samani. So na copy the same code na kuja kuida picket hapa chini. So forenki nyingine ni column ya department. Column ya department ipo wapi? Uh, department kwenye table ya student ni hii nataka niifanye hiyo forenki. Inalifaa kwenye table ya department. So forenki department inalifaa table ya department inalifaa primary key. Primary key kwenye department ipo wapi? Department ID inalifaa. Na wanaposema hivyo lazima data type zifanane ile uko hapa ni data type iliyo hapo katika table ya student zifanane. Hapa yule variable character na hapo yule variable character. Zikitofautiana hii relationship unaotengeneza hapa itafeli. Kwa sababu data type ni tofauti. So kwenye department inalifaa column ya department ID. On delete cascade, on update cascade. Now. So hapa lazima ngoja kuterminate kwa sababu nishatengeneza relationship pale mara ya kwanza nao na i drop table ya student kwanza ili ni of course uh, just ni drop so drop uh, drop table student hii ni command inayotumika ku drop table ya student kisha niji ni paste tena table ya student of course ni hii hapa of course niji ni paste tena hii uh, relationship Yeah, just to copy. Ask me to paste. Oh, there is an error. Okay, you have one error in your SQL statement. Okay, now, so just troubleshoot. Add a table student here. Default add constraint. Ah, yo, foreign key. Okay, now, so in a shundo ko execute mbili. Of course, ni copy moja. Iya chini na iya cha na copy ya juu peke yake. So ni wewe paste hapo. Okay now, alafu hii inaifuta um just ni delete. Hii ambayo nimesha paste ni delete na iacha hiyo ya chini. Just inakuwa namna hii oh just ni copy. Uh, just ni ni paste. Duplicate key. Okay now. So hii case tunaweza kukutana nayo. Inashindwa ku add key nyingine foreign key nyingine na ina aspect kwamba umesha add foreign key moja okay now so ikitokea kesi na namna hiyo unachokifanya ni iki uh, una copy hii uh, foreign key suppose ni undo hizi mbili na zikopi hizi mbili na zikopi na kuja kuzipaste kwenye table ya student kwa hapa na ikakoma na zipaste hapa umeona hapa just na ikakoma inakuwa namna hii okay now So baada ya kufanya kitu kama hicho hii alter na yondoa. So haifuta namna hii. Na mwenye database na drop table zote. So drop table uh, of course uh, drop table student drop uh, table student. Na uh, sasa terminate na terminate. Of course nimesha i drop. Kisha naje ku paste ikiwa na relationship zimekamilika of course kama hivi namna hii yes ni copy student copy it kuja katika database uh, una error okay now so no problem uh current key cause references cause uh, cause id on delete cascade on update cascade current key department references department department id on delete cascade on update cascade oh sorry so just hapa ni hii ya ipo yes ni ni copy tena So nije ni paste uh, just paste then execute. So nikija katika database server niki refresh. Nikija katika database yetu inaitwa nini? My college. Niki click niki click uh, designer ndio kuona hiyo relationship ambayo tumei create hapo ambayo ni hii kama unavyoona. So now tunakuja kutengeneza relationship kati ya course uh, sorry kati ya student na student address na relationship kati ya student na student address. So hapa tunaweza tukatumia alter. So just alter table uh, alter table alter table of course uh, student address and uh, student on just like um Okay, no problem. So at a table uh Okay, so we just modify kwanza uh, table ya student address. 
tabu ya student address na kuna ID ambayo ni hii hapa ni primary key na registration number kwa hii inakuwa ni child table sababu ina registration number ambayo ni huku okay no problem so alter table alter table student address just naje ni copy uh, student address kozi alter table student address add constraint underscore uh, constraint uh, kwenye table ya student address underscore foreign key then na specify foreign key just ni copy tu ni ndio kuandika code then na specify foreign key so foreign key ama uh, like foreign key itakuwa ni registration number na ifanya references kwenye table ya student so hii just na ifuta kwenye student inafanya reference ya column ya registration number ambayo ni primary key just hii hapa kwa ni primary key kwa just inafanya registration ya kwenye uh, registration number read number okay when you delete cascade you have to delete cascade ni afu ni automate okay now so nikija ku copy ah uh, nikija ku paste so ki execute kama vile niki refresh relationship yangu na no, yuko tayari relationship zimeongezeka zimekuwa hivi okay hivi ndio vuna mtu aka convert sasa relation schema kuwa kwenye convert hii ala diagram kwenda katika physical schema maana yake physical schema ni kutoa sasa hii student unakuja kuandikia nini query na hizi relationship mbili ambao ni cause na department unakuja kuziweka up kuwa ni foreign key na hapa ni foreign key cause na department zimekuwa kama foreign key hapo kwenye hii rd cause na department ni foreign key kwenye hii rd unaziandaline kwa kweka video dot kwa video dot vina specify ni foreign key ni primary key ya kwanza cause ni primary key ya table ya cause ambayo ni cause id department ni primary key ya department ya due to table ya department hapa kwenye hii rd unaja siku underline kwa kuweka hizo dot dot. Kwenye schema ambayo ni physical schema unaweka constraint foreign key. Kisha naandika hiyo foreign key ni nini? Ni cause. Column ya cause. Unalifaa wapi? References. Unalifaa kwenye table ya cause. Kwenye column gani? Kwenye hiyo table. Cause ID. Kisha una force differentiation target. Ukifuta chochote katika hiyo table ya cause cascade maana kifuta pia na huku na ukidelete na ukiupdate chochote katika table ya cause cascade maana update na huku hapo ni force differentiation target. Ya pili ni department na yenyewe ni foreign key na yenyewe the same. Kisha kwenye cause relation yake ambayo ni cause ni hii. Kwa hii ni schema, physical schema. So unaposoma physical schema maana ni data type. Data type ni variable character, data size ni 100, constraint ni primary key au constraint ni foreign key. Na za constraint null, not null, unit na nyinginezo. Hapo unakuwa umetengeneza physical schema. Okay now. So uh multivalued attribute address kuna phone 1, phone 2 na phone, phone three, na email. Ukija katika physical implementation unaondoa hiyo neno address alipo ila unatengeneza table kisha una join table. Kwa student and relationship na student address. Kwa nini hii ilikuwa ni multivalued attribute? Kwa hiyo kitendo hichi tunasema umefanya database normalization at least kwenye third normal form. Okay now. So kwenye tutorial na fast tunakuja kujifunza uh, tukiupload video ya tutorial namba 3 video namba 3 tunaja kuna namna ya normalize database kutoa kwenye first normal form second at least kwenye third normal form lakini kabla tujifunza database normalization tutajifunza data warehouse pamoja na uh, data warehouse pamoja na na uh, na mifumo mingine ambayo ni transaction processing system kwenye episode number 3